everyone, Komoye. I'm Jasmine and thank you all so much for stopping by. If you are new here, why don't you go ahead, be a friend and subscribe to my channel. The bell or button is down there somewhere. Today I'll be testing out the Too Faced and Candy collab. As you know, or probably don't, Candy Johnson is a YouTuber. She has a massive following and she actually collaborated with Too Faced to create a whole bunch of things. If you want to see how I got this look using the collection, the candy, I want candy collection, then definitely keep on watching. The first thing I'm gonna try is this I want candy banana pudding. And this is supposed to be a brightening face powder. First of all, they say everything in the collection smells really tasty. This is supposed to taste like, I think, candy or something. Oh, it's supposed to smell like banana. Mm, I don't buy it though. I don't know about this particular color on me, so I'm just gonna go a little each way because I have somewhere to be after this. There is a little bit of fallout, nothing too crazy. Uh, let me see. It goes on transparent actually. Can you see, can you see the difference? I'm gonna put on a little more cause I'm really not sure. You know what, this ain't bad though. I don't know about flashback, <laughs> we will have to see. Can y'all tell the difference? I, I need to sit down in editing and see if I see a difference because I see a difference here. It's definitely more matte here, but it's not ghostly like it's, it goes on transparent. So far so good from what I'm gathering here. So who else is excited about this Too Faced foundation situation? Big ups to Jackie Ina for always thinking of us women of color. Always, always. I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow right now. This is the I Want Candy palette. This has quite a bit of things in here. There are 12 eyeshadows and there are three highlighters in this palette. And you know what? The shade range is actually looking really good. The transition shade will be Raspberry Chocolate. There is a bit of kickback, but um, whatever. The colors are pigmented from what I can tell from Raspberry Cocoa. This is a perfect, perfect transition color. I'm gonna take a little bit of pastry. It's a bit powdery. This one came on a little ashy though. Moving on, let me take hot chocolate, yes. They, they smell sweet. But I don't know if they taste like the flavors they're all supposed to taste like. Like the butterscotch, it don't taste like butter. The raspberry cocoa don't smell like raspberry cocoa. I'm applying hot chocolate to the crease. And a windshield wipe emotions. Next shadow I'll be taking is actually sugar plum and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. So, FYI, there is some kickback. Yeah, I figure I just go, go glam today. Now I'm gonna go back again with this taper brush and clean up a bit. I'm gonna take licorice rope and apply just a little bit to the outer corner. And this angled brush is perfect for these kinds of situations. Next up, I'm taking the eyeliner also from Candy's collection. And I think you're supposed to shake it only because I hear that thing. Oh, this is a different kind of liner, people. Okay, let's... Uh, Pray this works. Oh, this ain't bad though. 
this actually makes for a more precise liner application okay so mm, right okay so far i like this brush i like the fact that it's firm and it's angled so you can get a really cute little flick shape and it curves perfectly in now i've never seen an eyeliner with a shape like this and i think this is pretty innovative so I'm gonna clean up under the eyes because I did get some fallout from the shadows. I'm gonna go under the eyes with the raspberry cocoa and the black color. Because putting color on the bottom really helps to balance out this eye makeup. Think of it as like wanting to match your shoes with your shirt or something like that like it really puts the look all together my my little gripe about this palette can y'all at least have a mirror in here though i mean that would be nice come on come on it's constructive criticism next up i'm taking this highlighter it's called the candy glow luminizer and it smells sweet. It smells like cotton candy almost. I don't know if this will work for me in particularly. What I'm going to do is take the back of my beauty blender and take some of it and go like this. That way I'm not applying too, too much. Okay, okay, you know this method actually is working for me. So I'm gonna put some more on my hand. Take the back of my booty blender. Yeah, this, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you give me a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have applied it to my nose area. Okay, let me. Try to blend that out a little bit. Hopefully it's not too much. I do need to bronze though, so I will be bronzing. Now I wanted to apply a powder highlight over top this. These highlighters in here definitely do not go with my skin tone. I mean, couldn't we have gotten just a little bit of, like at least one gold color? Like just one, I mean, I don't know, that's just me. None of these really like fit me really well. You know, this is, this is white. This is extra white. And this is, this is ghost. You know what, let me put a little bit of ghost. Actually, it's not called ghost, it's called whipped cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of whipped cream on the inner corner. That's probably the only place I could put it. I will not be putting it anywhere else. Uh, make sure to shake your brush because you will get kickback. The very last thing is lips. Okay, so we have four colors here. This one is called Sweet and Sour. This right here is Freshly Baked. Over here you got Tropical Punch and this little one is Melted Ice Cream. Uh, you could pretty much assume that I won't be using this one today uh, but or this one only because the outfit uh, but these two look very promising for today's look absolutely I might need a lip liner for this but I'm gonna try it on first so this is supposed to be a melted matte comes in a doe foot shaped brush It definitely smells sweet and it has like a velvety consistency you know you know what I mean hmm. 
Okay, this is extra bright. Okay. Just, um... I need a lip liner with this. Uh, this is really bright. So hopefully this works. This is current. Uh, this is my Jordana current lip liner. This is looking a little better. This is super duper bright. That is all for this video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Let me know if you guys plan on picking up this collection or not. Nah. If so, which particular thing out of the bunch are you interested in? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already and turn on those notifications so that way you know when I post the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Ouch.